How's it going guys? Welcome back. Today we've got the Ultimate Dynasties promo and we got this card. This is a 90th, 90 rated Oberdorf, 4 star, 3 star, but a decent little CDM that we've got going with Intercept Plus, Anticipate Slide Tackle, and Bruiser, and a couple other traits, and my favorite trait, the Long Ball Pass. And this is the team that we're going to be playing with. So you might be wondering, well, usually you do objective players on Fridays. Well, today's objective player we can't do today. We got to wait until tomorrow because you have to play three games with a Maldini loan. That, well, refreshes every day and you can only play two every day. That was badly worded. Anyway, we've got Oberdorf's brother. We've got Schlotterbeck, who doesn't have a brother or sister in this promo. We've got Sane, whose brother is pretty bad. For own icon prime moments. I don't know how, what they call these cards, but he's got Travella Plus. And when we put him on the Hawk, we got 99 shot power with 99 long shots and long ball pass again. And finally, we got Clivert with the newly upgraded Gabriel Jesus. I wanted to have a little bit of fun with some of these cards, especially since we don't actually have a promo card or a player that we have to use. So, without further ado, let's head into game one. Well, you're probably wondering why we have just a full promo team this week. And it's because we were doing some testing and just we kind of saw some very special things. That team looks okay, but he's trying to do Magno right now, some New York player. So anyway, I'll leave a link to the Mythbusters video on how much they drop promo cards during, like, as time goes on. But, I'm, I mean, it's just the only way to play right now. Oberdorf's brother, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Sané. Good ball to Clivert. Clivert feels very clunky. Holy. But Sane is going on a run of dreams. Sane, left footed, scores the first goal of the game from a beautiful run. And a good interception from Oberdorf, the male version. Good tackle, Oberdorf. Uh, male or Ober Oberdorf. I'm just going to call him Oberdorf because this is going to get too confusing. Clyber, this is all you. Or whoever you are. Schlotti, I think. Yes. No, it's Oberdorf. Oberdorf is absolutely everywhere. What is happening? How is he outshining and outperforming uh, Schlotterbeck? Go, Clyber. Good hold up play. Gabriel Jesus. That should be in. That has to be in, especially inside the box. Come on, Gabriel. Verone, keep it. Good ball, Verone. I'm liking this Verone's passing. Oberdorf. Oh. <laughs> Just making a Kimmich like run. But yeah, I I don't know. I'm really liking this Verone in comparison to his other car cards. I think I tried his base, so not the mid one that they made now. By the way, there's two icons in these promos, and I, I don't know why. I, I guess because they can use different play styles, but I tried the base Verone, and that card was not good. But this one's feeling very good right now. Yes, Oberdorf. <laughs> Male Oberdorf. Keep it going, Clivert. Good turn. <laughs> and chip that. Come on, Clivert. Let's get some movement going. Sane. Sane. Again. Using that body type. Getting the chip off. Oh, what a beautiful goal. <laughs> Sane's got that body type. He's a big man, but he doesn't feel like a big man. And that chip was pretty much perfect. Ah, that's too bad, but eh. I don't mind it. <laughs> now we get it to Verone. Let him do a little bit of dribbling himself. Oberdo or Verone! <laughs> Travella plus Verone. <laughs> 99 long shots, 99 shot power. That was going in every single day of the week, but... Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I have so many problems with Jesus. It's probably because of his composure, but I've had worse cards with worse composure do better. 
looking at the stats, we've got Jesus on a 6.6. Oh, man. Lom is the man of the match with Overdorf, the brother, the center back card, who got a goal that from that cross. We got Sane and other Oberdorf doing bits as well, but there's some clear weaknesses in the team. Jesus gets a uh, schlotty somehow, even though he did pretty good, but I didn't really have many complaints on this team overall, but let's see if it changes in Div 5 and in game number 2. Okay, game number two, we've got a France fan. Okay, Casillas, that card is a problem, but otherwise, uh, yeah, just a really good team. Plie, a card I haven't seen much of, but I know is a demon, and sadly I didn't get the opportunity to actually use. Clivert to Jesus. Back out to Sané. Play it out. Back in. Clivert. Oh, what is that dribbling? <laughs> Clivert finally waking up. But what a beautiful little goal. Well, beautiful dribbling leading into the goal. Is this really it? <laughs> two for two games just... Running down the wing and cutting in. Come on, guys. You've got Aubameyang. He hasn't even put in a cross. He's got Bacha and Aubameyang. He's just not doing anything with his target men. Nor is he shooting normal shots, but that's besides the point. Good, sir. Clive, good turn, good Travella into the corner, Clivert, I'm liking him this game, last game not too much, but this game, oh, he's feeling the Clivert power, like what he should feel like, honestly, let's see if we can try this again, yeah, yeah, Travella plus Verone with 99 long shots, 99 shot power. Uh, you you gotta you gotta stop him. I I have to move him to the right side so we don't have to force it so much. But you you can't stop that. It, it's just unstoppable. <laughs> Shalati, that's all you. Good. Good sir. Jesus to Verone. He can't injure Verone. What a beautiful ball. He was trying to take him out. Clivey. Aww. <laughs> he tried to take him out, but Verone stands strong and avoids it. Schlotti. This defense is solid. It, it, it's just absolutely unpenetrable. Same with the midfield. It's a very strong team. Verone. Yes. Jesus. Clivert. Clivert. Aw, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Let me have that breakaway. <laughs> Let's see if... I forget. Does anyone have the thing plus? Maybe Verone... De well, he definitely has good stats for it. Yeah, 99 power, 88 free kick accuracy. Let's see if we can knuckle it right into the back of the net. So let's go like there, there. That should be enough power. Ooh. It challenges the keeper because of the power, but it's just not accurate enough. And let's see if Schlotti can do the job. Sané can do the job this time. And that's a three-goal lead, just like the last game. And I think the last game's score was also 4-1, which is surprising, which also means that we are pretty consistent. Clybert, come on. Really, man? Come on. You're just getting a red for nothing? Okay, well, I guess we get another chance at a, a, a free kick. Let's see if we can knuckle it one more time. Verone. <laughs> Put it in the back of the net. Ooh! We got, the, <laughs> we got a proper knuckle as well. Like, it completely swirled. You know those old compilations of, like... I think it was FIFA 17 where you had those absolutely insane free kicks. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of. Oberdorf getting the job done. Not yet. We're continuing play. Oberdorf getting the job done. Male Oberdorf, the center back, the man of the match in this team, 100%. This, this random 85 that I wasn't actually wanting to use. It's actually amazing in-game.
Looking at the team, we got Verone, one goal, one assist, also a very surprising player. We got Clivert on two goals, and we got a little bit of action from Sané, but otherwise a pretty even team. Oberdorf is a demon. <laughs> this random 85 rated center back is so good in game. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we actually got some fun cards for once. <laughs> Well, the Bundesliga gets a lot of fun cards, but we got like a bunch of them and this team just proves it. Although a lot of these cards are very expensive right now. Okay, <laughs> let's go. I, I wonder where we're... We'll start with Clivert. Clivert, looking at the stats, we got two matches, two goals, one assist. The first match, he was absolutely clunky and nowhere to be found. Going into the second match, we finally showed what this Clivert could do. Especially with the assists from Verone. Now, yes, he has Relentless. Very important trait. Very, very important trait. For lengthy players, first touch. Very important trait. Travella, press proven. Uh, Travella, he automatically did that last time. But press proven, very good trait. But, eh. I, I don't notice it enough on the players that do have it, like Grealish, who also happens to have it. Otherwise, this card is a lot of fun. And it, it, considering he's going to be discard or list card anyway, I mean, it's a fun little option. He reminds me a little bit of his foot birthday, but a little bit worse because he doesn't have that five star weak foot, which made his foot birthday so, so good last year. Going over Jesus. Uh, yeah, 10 matches, 3 goals, 6 assists. I can't use him. Hopefully you guys can use him. Especially with, I think he got Travella and Power Shot, plus, Power Shot as his two traits. And he's got two inform upgrades since the last time I used him. He's just not for me. There's nothing to it. We got Verone. Well, if, if we can't put Schlotty on Man of the Match, which I think, I think we can... Especially since he's running on a catalyst, not even a shadow. But if if in doubt, when, when we're talking about the match rating specifically that EA give, Verone has to be the man of the match today. We've got this guy with two matches, two goals, one assist, completely matching Clivert. But not only that, he is just a demon if you can get him on his right foot, Travella. Passing was perfect. What is his passing stats? Yeah, 89 vision, 91 short, 90 long. But I think it's incisive pass that feels so good. And I, I really like this trait. And I love this trait, as you already know. And Flair and Travella Plus kind of go hand in hand. Meaning that if he gets in the box, he's going to take a Travella if he's on the right side. Making him perfect on the right side. Uh, because he can just... On a Hawk specifically, he can just spam Finesh or Travella's all game if he wanted to. Uh, I didn't struggle with anything. He gets back and defends very well. 87 interceptions, 84 standing tackles with 78 defensive awareness, but it felt like high 90s. The way he was running across the pitch, especially medium, medium. I don't know what they did to this card, but he just, he doesn't play like his stats show. And for a card that will also be probably list card i would recommend trying him out uh what else do we have good so you already know i love this card uh we actually packed one so 14 matches one goal three assists but this card i really love just to have a little bit of wiggle ability and sane two matches three goals all in the first game in the first game he wanted he really really made me consider putting him at striker instead of clivert and then in the second game he kind of dulled down a little bit but those runs that he was making are really really good and also if you can actually use the volta skill moves the trickster plus ones and i mean it's not a bad option uh he has all the right play styles in all the right places except relentless but he's got 78 stamina that is pretty iffy if he had relentless and if he had long ball pass this card would be absolutely amazing maybe finesse too but finesse got nerfed in the recent patch so i don't really know if that would be better oberdorf i don't think she did anything one assist she almost got a goal but she's not 
really made for that. She's got 55 finishing. You can't expect that from her, but maxed acceleration on this card on anything with three arrows of pace. So you can put her on a shadow and she'll become a demon. You can put her on a uh, catalyst like we put here. She becomes also a demon, but I like the catalyst for that passing out ability because CDMs kind of struggle with that, but she feels like a, like a kind of a Conte, a baby Conte, we could actually say, because she is born in 2001, and I'm sure Conte is not born then. So, very fun card. Um, is she worth 260k? Only time will tell. I'll be obviously trying her in Weekend League and see what actually happens when she's put up against very, very meta teams. But in the games that we played right now, I it's safe to say that she really reminds me of, like, that she feels better than Makalele to me, in my opinion. And that's actually a very, very good compliment because she is... She is probably well she is cheaper than that card so i mean if you can somehow fit her it's a very very good card and also she has the links to nobody notable really but she gets links from kessler too and if i pull up her card you can make like a little box a box setup very easily uh or a midfield setup so Kessler's going to eventually get that card, which is absolutely broken. But she could be your box-to-box -box with Oberdorf being your CDM. And it'll be a very solid defense. Or a very solid midfield, sorry. Grimaldo, we know, we've heard these two cards broken in this game. Very, very good cards. And they'll be in my team for a while. You can actually put Grimaldo's base card into the new Evo. But I kind of like this one a little bit better stats-wise afterwards. But, eh, to each their own. Oberdorf. <laughs> the controlled lengthy guy with 99 sprint speed on a catalyst. He was on a catalyst and he has 75 composure. And somehow he's so good in game. Uh, he's scary to play against. And he's six foot one, but he feels like a big tank. That just controls the defense. Same with Schlotterbeck. Schlotterbeck was good in his gold. And this card is just much better. And this card is probably staying in my team eventually after all the drops and whatnot have happened. 96 jumping with power header and aerial. This guy's a more nimble, more pacey VVD. And you know how good VVD is in this game. Block jockey, intercept plus, no anticipate which may let him down in the future, but <laughs> this is a very good card. Again, this defense somehow, and well, this defense and the patch somehow completely rejuvenated the negative kind of, well, the issues I was having last time, if you want to click the video somewhere there. So, I mean, you got to respect it. And even with Lom, I, we had a couple of issues where I... Uh, like someone was getting back post and he can't actually get to it because he's low jumping he's a little bit smaller but otherwise Lom is very good in game he he is also a very similar card to Conte and well he doesn't even he kind of puts his own kind of spin on it so you, his strength will let you down but you got to force the tackles so you you got to do manual tackles to actually get this card to work very well but when he does do it, he is very good. And even at right back, I know he got an SBC, but even at right back, he's very good. And if you have fodder for the SBC, I don't have any complaints for him. No, you're no issues. Uh, I I wonder if Lucio will be dropped for Oberdorf this weekend league. We'll see what happens. But also, I'm doing Limer if you're curious with the new Evo because you get basically a negative one on his road to the knockout for free for basically his gold price so i thought why not you know what get a couple different traits in we got van percy sitting on the bench too Schweini's there too as well but otherwise <laughs> uh, let me know if you're actually going to be using any of these new cards um, let me know what you think of the promo and otherwise Thanks for watching. If you can, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, thanks.